Francesco di Pazzi. Brought up as a noble in a city captivated by the newly rich Medici family, Francesco was taught to hate the middle class and its social climbers. Dismayed, he watched as the Medici bank eclipsed his own and centuries of influence over the Florentine government slipped away. It looks like the Spaniard offered him a solution. Rather than compete in something as dirty as banking, Francesco only had to do one thing for the Templars, one thing to put the middle class in their place for good. Kill the Medici. Giovanni Auditore tried to stop Francesco by putting him in jail. But the Templars took care of that. You again! Why aren't you dead? Men! Slaughter him! Swordsman, so you drawn some blood. My men will make short work of you. Desist it! You're only delaying your inevitable and That man. That man. What do you think you're proving? That you're a loyal servant to that dog, Lorenzo? Death shall be your reward. Gods! Gods! No one's coming. It's just us now. Maledetto che il diavolo ti porti! Stami lontano! Stop the ragazzi! Hey. <laughs> Now Firenze will judge you for what you've done. It's over. It's all over. Meglio essere felici in questa vita e aspirare a esserlo nella prossima. Requiescat in pace. Being second best in the city was just not enough for the Pazzis, who put themselves above the Auditore's back room style to win the power of the city for Rodrigo's purposes. To complete the task against the ruling Medici, Francesco was pressed for time and ordered his battalion to straight up murder Lorenzo in the street. 
Thankfully, Francesco was not good at the delicate art of murder, and Ezio managed to get him back into the arms of safety before being dispatched to finish the job. And it looks like the apple didn't fall far from the tree, between the Pazzi father and son, since the rest of the mission has Ezio climbing up an arch or a tower, dealing with some easy pickings guards, and being able to simply sneak up and stab up Francesco while he's distracted and panicking and ordering his men around to stop Ezio who just happened to be right behind him. This mission was kind of odd, because I would have suspected that Francesco would have been smarter than just deciding to go balls out and murdering someone in the street in front of hundreds of people, which I believe would have hurt his cred a bit. But then the guy screwed up the job and fucked up the finishing blow since the escorting of Lorenzo back home was barely necessary. It was close by, and there were barely any guards to come to rout his order of the land. And then there's the brainlessness of his idea to hide on the top of a tower, which the assassin would have been reportedly doing throughout the entire game up to this point. I suppose he deserved the end where his naked corpse was strung up for all of Florence to see, but was it a satisfying victory? Sure, it's at least some fun to kill the terminally moronic. <laughs>